grace to you and peace from God your Father the Lord Jesus Christ our crucified and resurrected Savior and the Holy Spirit who bids us remember that indeed we are sojourners and pilgrims in this world for this time and yet in a little while we will reach our destination of eternal life. Amen. Sojourners and pilgrims are on a short trip. The term sojourner means somebody who lodges in a particular place that is not his or her home. but for a little while, while on a particular journey. And same for pilgrim. A pilgrim is, by definition, again, a traveler. One who has come from a different place is traveling in another certain place, but that second place is truly not the pilgrim's home. This journey for a short time might take that pilgrim back home or it may end up being an extended sojourn in the new land. The theme of the lessons for this particular Sunday in the church year all have to do with time and even more with how God works in the midst of human time to give us patience to wait on our Lord's guiding hand whether we are on the move or sojourning at rest for a night or two. We even hear in our first lesson for this day, when God finally liberates the children of Israel out of Egypt, they don't take the short way. The short way would have taken them right through the land of the Philistines. A people against whom God's children will do much battle. They are a warrior tribe, those Philistines. Goliath comes from that particular tribe you might remember. And while that would have been the shortest way, both with regard to distance and to time, God takes them on a much longer journey. A safer way in many ways but also a more time-consuming way. But God also had in mind for those children of Israel and you, dear children of Israel, today to build your patience as God goes day and night, whether appearing as a pillar by of fire to lighten our night and our darkness or the pillar of cloud by day to declare his glory visibly as he dwells and visits his children every single day. All of this helps us to understand what Jesus is teaching the disciples 
and again us. As we hear recorded in the Gospel of John this day, the words of Jesus, a little while, repeated six times to make a total of seven. When God says one thing, it is certainly worth our attention. But when he says it sevenfold, it has all the more importance for us. A little while is how God would have you regard every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year, even the entirety of your life here, dear sojourners and pilgrims. Even when Jesus teaches us the Lord's Prayer, he teaches us about time in the petition that happened to be our catechism recitation for this day. Give us this day our daily bread. The unit of God's giving is to be seen as sufficient for this day. And tomorrow, we pray for daily bread for that day. And the next day, and the next day, and the next same. A day then becomes a little while. And every hour and minute and second and moment in each and every day is but a little while. Jesus especially teaches his disciples again then and now to regard every episode in our lives as enduring but for a little while especially so that we have the divine patience, the gift delivered by God's Holy Spirit himself through this word of truth in those tough times, those difficult to endure times of trial and tribulation and trouble. Jesus teaches his disciples this lesson in our gospel in the night in which he will be betrayed. Carried away captive from his disciples as they scatter away from that garden of Gethsemane. The shepherd will be stricken and the sheep will scatter. And then begins those long moments and minutes and hours of agony. What's going to become of our teacher, our Lord, the one in whom we have put our faith as the Son of God? And then the next day they see him hanging on the cross, and then yielding his spirit up into death. And then buried in the tomb, his lifeless body laid there for them all to see on that stone cold slab. And a large stone rolled in front of the door of the tomb. And yet they wait. A long, long Sabbath day. Indeed, it was just another 24-hour day. But how the hours and minutes and seconds would have ticked by so slowly. 
but Jesus had already given them the power to endure it all faithfully. To help them in their time of sorrow. It's but for a little while, dear children of God, my beloved disciples. For the Holy Spirit will come and teach you what those words mean about which you now ask. A little while. What does this mean? And then enduring all those strings of little whiles, they come to learn, as you have learned, that we can endure anything for a little while. So even the big things can be endured if we string those little whiles together in our measuring of the time of that tribulation. So for that time of the separation of Jesus from his disciples, a little while. For on the third day, their joy was restored, their sorrow was dissipated when they beheld with their own eyes their Lord and Savior and God in their midst as he appeared to them all in that room in which they hid their faithful waiting had been rewarded so also yours the time of Jesus from when he ascended into heaven 40 days following his triumphant resurrection from the dead to now has been nearly 2,000 years. And yet for the God for whom a thousand years is like a day and a day is like a thousand years, he would have us measure that as but a little while in comparison eternity the eternity by which God renders his own time and the eternity into which we will enter with him on account of everything that Christ Jesus did in human time and what the Holy Spirit has delivered to you in your time in this world as a pilgrim and a sojourner through holy baptism you have been given the life giving water that will sustain you through every little while that comes your way like God provided water in the wilderness for the children of Israel, as we will hear in the coming weeks in our review of the chapters of the book of Exodus. Jesus comes even into our midst to feed us, like Israel of old, with the manna, the daily bread that fell from heaven, on those days where he sets before us through the bread and the wine his body and blood that enters into those who partake of it faithfully to strengthen you in that faith that believes indeed this is but a little while and gives us the strength to carry us through each and every little while while we wait on the Lord whose hand continues to point the way whose presence is still among us though not in a fiery pillar or tall cloud but rather having us find those signs in his holy word 
and how that word is fulfilled as revealing the will of God for each and every one of his children. He provides us with everything that we need every single day in terms of our physical needs, but even more for those whom are his beloved. He provides you with the true meaning and the power of those words. It's but for a little while. And enduring each and every little while. Know that I am with you in that while. I am making my visitation upon you because you believe in me. My word and my spirit continue to enter into you as you meditate upon my word in every little while. And as you redeem the time in continuing to live your lives, knowing that every little while for the Christian has meaningfulness and purposefulness, as we live our lives honorably within the world, as St. Peter encourages us, to have our conduct honorable before the Gentiles, that is, the unbelievers in the world, that we might make a bold witness to our faith, and that by God's grace and mercy, many more might yet be converted through the power of his word and his spirit and live by this same faith that we live for this little while here while we await our entrance into the promised land and eternity. Amen. The peace of God which surpasses all understanding guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus.